my ninja food in it really is incredible isn't it it's a real lengthy process but the ninja does all the work for you making it so easy to produce something really incredible so today's yogurt that i'm making is a vanilla and honey version i'm going to show you step by step how you do it in the ninja because i don't think it really explains it that well on the ninja itself it kind of gives you little prompts but it's not really overly obvious so if you've not made yogurt before then this recipe is definitely for you remember all my recipes are available on my website www.susannaskitchen.uk and they are all printable so get over there have a look see if you want to join my website and you can also grab a copy of my book over there as well so thank you so much for joining me today don't forget to hit the like button if you do enjoy the video subscribe if you're new here and let's go make yogurt Making yogurt can be really easy and this one is flavoured with vanilla and honey. So in your Ninja pot, you actually have some measurements at the side here, which does really help when you're using larger measurements. You've got cups and you've also got litres. So we are looking for 3.6 litres and you need to use whole milk for this. So now that I've got my whole milk in here, just gonna show you the ingredients. So literally using just some clear honey, some good vanilla. You can use a vanilla pod as well. You could use the vanilla paste. It's up to you really what you put in, but you just wanna get that flavor. And then when you're making yogurt in the Ninja, you will need some natural live yogurt. And it does show you on the back here, which says contains the following live cultures. So it's that live cultures that you're looking for. If not, it's not gonna work. So let's put the lid down. Now making yogurt is really, really easy. It's just a little bit time consuming, but you can walk away, carry on with your day and the ninja will do the work for you. Switch over to yogurt. It says yogurt eight hours. And if we press start, it will come up here as boil. So what that is doing is that it's heating your milk up and getting it ready for the next stage. It's gonna heat it up and then it's gonna cool it down. And again, the ninja's gonna do all of that for us. So whilst that was coming up to the boil, I left the lid closed because that way it's gonna heat up that little bit quicker. It's probably taken, I'm not sure, because I wasn't really looking at the clock fully and I've been getting on with some jobs, but probably around 20, 25 minutes. Um, so now that needs to cool, so therefore, to me, the most sensible thing to do is to open the lid, just give it a little stir, release some of that heat. And again, there is nothing you can do, but just leave it to cool now until we can do the next stage. So my screen has just told me to add and stir, which is now the part where you put in your yogurt with the um, live cultures. So all I do is measure out two tablespoons. Just stir that in. It does take quite a while to cool down, by the way. I think probably close on an hour this has taken. But it is a really big batch of milk in here now we can close the lid so we've done the add and stir so just press start and now we've got the fermentation process which is going to take eight hours as you can see so it is a lengthy process but now i leave it i don't do anything with this let the ninja do all the work after this had finished and the ninja basically tells you that it's done so after the eight hours that's all you need to do you will have your yogurt now this has been in the fridge you want to refrigerate it for probably i don't know four or five hours something like that but this one has been in the fridge all night look at that it's so lovely it smells good it's thick it looks really really nice so now we need to flavor it so yeah, chill it first, then flavor it, and then we're gonna chill it again in the pots that we're using. I've got some sterilized jars here, and just old jam jars, so I'm gonna put some in there. And I've got some plastic containers as well, so I can give some to my dad, give some to my husband. Uh, right, so now we wanna put in the vanilla and the honey. So I want a tablespoon of vanilla. 
Now really with this, you can do this to taste. You can put in as much or as little as you like. So that is my vanilla. Don't worry, I'm gonna stir all this in in a second. And then we want 150 grams of honey. This is a favorite in our house. My son and my husband both love like a Greek yogurt with honey. And that's what I would normally buy in my food shopping. So I thought, right, if I can make an alternative, then even better. Let's scrape that honey in. I didn't really want to guess it because I know that 150 grams is just right in this recipe. And all I do now is just stir that through. And it really is that simple. Now, I know a lot of people strain it, and you definitely can strain your yogurt if you want a thicker yogurt. But in this instance, I felt like this looked about right. In fact, I made on a video before where I just did some plain yogurt and I did like a mango compote. It was really lovely. Um, but I did strain the yogurt and I felt like it needed it. This one, I felt like it didn't. I don't really know what the difference is um, and, and why it's like that. But this one looks good consistency. That's all mixed in. There you go. You can see what that is like. Look, that is so much yogurt. Now this has already been chilled. So um, I'm going to just chill this again. Now it's got that in there. Get it into my pot, which is probably the most challenging part. And away we go, we can eat it. It's just absolutely lovely to have with some fruit. It's nice to have on your muesli for breakfast. Super delicious. I hope you give it a try.